What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and well today I've got some more uh, mini builds uh, as you can see some more uh, power sport builds So yeah, if you uh, like this kind of stuff, well stay tuned and let's get started All right, So it's been a bit of a while since I've done like a video about mini builds I usually try to make a few of these per year And you know these are just a really great change compared to the cars because you know they don't really require that much pieces They're just in general more fun to build All right, so what we actually have here today is well a dirt bike a uh, snowmobile, a like 1990s style snowmobile, and a jet ski, also on a trailer. This is like another 1990s style jet ski. See, all three of these are really great. Of course, the jet ski already has a trailer, so you can tow it with like a truck. The snowmobile, you can just use like a flat deck trailer for, or put it in the bed. I'm not actually sure if it'll fit in like a Lego truck, but it might. And of course, the dirt bike, you can also just put in the bed of a truck. This particular dirt bike isn't actually based off of like a, any real life model of a dirt bike, but it's based off kind of like what you think if you just generally think of a dirt bike, if that makes sense. Features a few upgrades from the old model it's actually got legos like pre-made um dirt bike tire and wheel mold so you know it looks much more realistic in that aspect it also has a uh, more realistic front fender using this like tooth piece which is like pretty much the perfect piece you can imagine for like something like this it also uses a uh, more like legal builds if that makes sense the old dirt bike used like a little part of a flex tube that was cut to like a really short length and I think some people think it's like a legal building technique, some people don't. To me, it doesn't really matter, but this one doesn't use any like cut pieces of flex tubes or anything. It uses just like straight up Lego pieces, like straight up unmodified Lego pieces. The body itself is obviously red, and it's also got sort of a adjustable like rear fork. Um, you can sort of adjust it up and down if you want like to mimic like suspension travel or something like that. Now with this out of the way, let's move on to a more winter themed model. Um, if you can't tell, it's actually like winter where I am right now. Well, you probably can't tell, but you might be able to hear some of the wind, but yeah, that's sort of a different story. So yeah, the snowmobile, like the dirt bike, it's not based off of any specific snowmobile model, but it is based off of a more 90s version of a snowmobile. Uh, as you can see, it's got these uh, grill pieces at the front, uh, very like angular look, which just makes it look a bit older, unlike the newer, like more sleeker snowmobiles, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make this as realistic as possible, so I took use of Lego's um, dedicated ski piece. But yeah, I think these pieces are fairly common because I found like a few of them in my parts bin. They're just attached by these like spout pieces onto some clip pieces, and they work really well. They're also slightly angleable, if that's a word. So, you know, if you're going over like some rougher terrain you can sort of angle them to make it look like that and then moving back the track was you know the hardest part to create because i wanted to make it look like a track but lego doesn't really make any pieces that would make like a working track at this scale so i used a lot of these one by two rounded plates to give it sort of that like a rounded track look so yeah i'm really happy with how this came out i will have instructions to all three of these models like on my rebrickable and maybe the kits on my website soon hey, the kit version will come with like a black and maroon color scheme instead of a black and white so yeah that actually looks a bit better in my opinion and i just couldn't do it in real life because I didn't have the maroon pieces. Oh yeah, so enough about this. Now let's talk about probably uh, one of the best models in my opinion, which is the jet ski. Yeah, for this jet ski right here, I really want to go with that 90s classic look with this like purple and blue color scheme. You know, I wasn't really alive in the 90s, so you know, I'm not really sure. But you know, from the images I found, you know, a lot of the 90s stuff has a lot of neon colors and color schemes like this. Also in the back here, we've got a little cone piece to represent the jet drive and another little pipe sticking out the back that, you know, could either be like the exhaust or the water outlet. Uh, it's got some cooling vents on the front and the seat is actually angled on a hinge brick, which looks really nice. Uh, gives it a nice amount of texture than if it was just like flat. And this jet ski also comes with a trailer. As I mentioned, the trailer is actually probably one of the best parts. You know, it's got these uh, bars on the side, which sort of represent like the little rails that like a real jet ski would have or a real boat trailer in general would have that, you know, the boat kind of rests on. Uh, it's also got this little part on the front that's like a little clip on a real boat trailer would sort of have one of those like cranking things that you know you'd crank up the boat with and then we've got some fenders of course along with some taillights so yeah this uh trailer would look great you know being pulled behind really anything i think it would just look like really awesome being towed behind like a 90 style truck you know it's really up to you these mini builds are sort of more of just like a uh outline for you guys to follow so you know you can of course change the colors change the designs you know, you know really whatever you want to do and uh yeah that pretty much wraps up this video i didn't really show any of the tutorials on these models in this video because well number one as i said it was a little bit more for inspiration but also I will actually have the instructions up on my Rebrickable account uh, pretty soon and the kits on my website. I'm not sure if I'll do the dirt bike, but definitely the jet ski and the snowmobile. The dirt bike's a bit fragile, so yeah, it's a bit harder to build, if that really makes sense. Uh, I might still put it up there, though. So, well, that's pretty much all to say. This video is a really fun video to make. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I have some more larger builds coming soon. You know, some 8-watt cars, some more 6-wide um, trucks and vans and whatever. I also do hope to get some of the new Speed Champion sets. I actually have a car that's designed to like go with one of the upcoming Speed Champion sets. So if you want to guess what that is, you can. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for that one because I already built it and I'm working on the video. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys like the models. And well, with that said, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.